a young woman and a satyr dance together beneath a grape arbor. The landscape is peaceful in the morning light, with meadows giving way to forest and low mountains. The satyr holds a drinking horn. He is a companion of the god of wine and fertility and animal instincts. The woman's dress bears a pattern of spirals such as are found everywhere in nature, from seashells to galaxies. On the ground before them are the ram skull and a resting dove. When you get this side in a reading, the ram and the dove are symbols of lust and love, of aggression and peace, of persistence and cooperation. Both are needed if true passion is to be sustained over the long run. But this card isn't necessarily about relations. Remember that the wands is a suit of action. For something to succeed as at its highest potential, it's important to celebrate it. Ceremonies unite purpose with passion. Much as the same on the other side, on this side of the card, the woman's legs can be seen beneath her dress as the sunlight streams through the delicate fabric. Her feet are bare. These details show that her cardinal self brings her closer to the satyr side of the equation. While the bright sunlight warms the front of their bodies, the back is cool and shadowed. The sun in the sky has a stylized look. rather than the more realistic suns on the other side of the card. So is this actually sunny or is this a staged setting? When you get this side of the card in the reading, it's saying that there was forced merriment. It drains real enjoyment from the situation. This can throw the energy out of balance into a sort of frenzy where inappropriate things may be said or done. If there is a party or a celebration plan, make sure people really want to participate. So this card today suggests that there was a social gathering, some sort of situation where people came together and had to play nice and, and act in front of each other and in front of others that everything was okay. But the truth was is that somebody didn't want to be there. And because they would rather have been anywhere else or somewhere specifically else, they might have said things or been rude and wasn't enjoying themselves in the way that you thought that they probably would have. And this could be you or somebody that you were dealing with. So what advice can your 
guardian angels give you. You can always choose freedom. The situation you're in most likely makes you feel as though you're trapped. But the truth is that there's always another path. There is a way to leave unhappiness and move to joy. Your angels want to give you the gift of self-confidence. Reach within and touch your own inner strength and know that there is nothing that you cannot do if you only believe in yourself. Refuse to be stuck in a life that doesn't make you happy. Don't wait for someone to come and rescue you when you can free yourself. Make a promise to yourself that you'll take one small step every day to the future that you desire. The angels feel that you might be feeling trapped by circumstances. And this is causing you to not believe in yourself. But this is only illusions, the illusion of being stuck, being held back by your own perspective. You're in the driver's seat and you get to make the decisions now. So that was your reading for this time and space and I hope this helps someone. Until I see you, take care.